That ship's got to come down. currently in Tokyo on a little weekend trip but today I'm actually going to leave Tokyo and go to Yokohama for the day. Uh, Yokohama is really close to Tokyo and it's Japan's second largest city. Yeah I've never been and many people who come to Japan skip it altogether for some reason so let's go see what's in Yokohama today. Does my lipstick match this curtain behind me? It's pretty close. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Gotta get out of here. Hello. So as usual, I am um, lost, but I don't like to call it lost because I'm just seeing cool things and exploring. I don't know this place. I'm trying to find this tea house. It's like built um, the like American style uh, from like when Japan opened its doors. So I think I'm around 10 minutes away from there. Once again, Google Maps has led me astray. Right, so just a quick background um, on Japan. Uh, Japan was closed off completely to foreigners during the Edo period and then opened its doors afterward and Yokohama was uh, the first or one of the first cities to uh, open its doors to foreigners. So I'm in Yamate right now which is an area of Yokohama that had a lot of European settlers and this sign behind me in Katakana can you guess what it says? It's a church. It says Catholic in Japanese. This is ka to -ri ku Catholic. Catholic. So Catholic church. This is this is pretty wild for me. I just sent a picture to my mom. <laughs> she appreciates it. I am absolutely blown away by this area <laughs> already. This is surreal to me, just the history they have. I know I'm in Japan, but it almost feels like I'm somewhere else, like I could be in the US. I'm standing in front of a monument dedicated to four Mormons. I'm gonna read this for you right now. Okay. On the morning of September 1st, 1901, four missionaries of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints humbly gathered to dedicate Japan for the proclamation of the truth and for the bringing to pass of the purposes of the Lord. I'm, I'm holding back so much right now because I just want to sing the Book of Mormon. You know what I'm thinking right now. I'm singing it in my mind. I believe. <laughs> Wow! Oh my god, it's the church! I was at the church. I didn't realize this was actually the church. So right now I'm in front of Enokite, 
which is the place I was looking for. And uh, on the way to get here, I wandered through some incredible architecture. Um, so I'm very happy that I got a bit lost. This house behind me was the home of an American public prosecutor in Japan. So here I am, the American influence in Japan. It's such a cute little house and uh, I can get some afternoon tea and cakes and just yummy food here. So I'm gonna go try it. But yeah, it's just so interesting, this whole area. This is really an incredible area. If you come to Yokohama, you must walk around this area. Don't miss it. Okay, so um, as you can see behind me, I'm in a cemetery and this is really quite bizarre for me because it's all like crosses and Jesus and one of them says in very creepy lettering, like thy kingdom come. I'll try to get that on camera. But this is a foreign cemetery, so it's called the uh, Yokohama Foreign General Cemetery. So any like, foreigners who died were buried here. I've just never seen this much Christianity in Japan. And uh, I'm, as I've said before, I'm pretty fascinated by all this. I just went to the most adorable little vintage shop. Um, I got this shirt. It says, she who must be obeyed. I, I really don't need any more shirts, especially sweatshirts, which it was. Uh, I, have, I have no willpower. I wanted to film the store, but like it was a little family run store. Oh, don't kill me. Thank you. Okay, it was a little family run store and they had a baby. It was so cute and I kind of wish I took video of it, but I don't like to get um, like babies in my footage because I don't know if the parents would be comfortable with that. So I just kind of put down my phone. Really cute store. Right now, I'm in an area with a lot of French influence, which I love. I love France, and I speak some French. Oh, there we go. Beautiful windmill. So, up here, this is Japanese for France. So this is France. 
and uh, I can't read all these signs because they're in Japanese, but uh, it's something about like the history of um, French influence in this area. And uh, we're in uh, Motomachi, so Yamate and Motomachi are the areas with the most European foreign influence in Yokohama. Um, so I'm just exploring this whole area. There's also an Italian garden. I think I'm gonna try to get there, but I might have to go back where I came from because uh, I kind of want to hit like all the nationalities today. <laughs> So all day long I've been thinking about how I feel like I'm in from up on Poppy Hill, the Studio Ghibli film. Alright, wanna see something cool? It's pretty cool. <laughs> So I'm here at Amerikayama Park, and here it says Bluff. So I did some research this morning before I came here, and the Bluff is the name of the area where foreigners had the most influence. So all these streets I've been walking down in this area, um, like near the cemetery, with like all the European style houses, are part of the Bluff. If you can't do hills, maybe skip this one. <laughs> My legs are getting so tired. Look at this. Uh oh. Okay, everyone. We're at the Amante Italian Hill Garden. Can you guess what this says? Italia. Italia. It's my first Sakura. It's my first Sakura in Japan. Wow. It's moving so early, oh my goodness. So, of course, when Japan opened its doors, it didn't just open them to Western countries, but also other Asian countries, such as China. So, we're going to go take a look around Yokohama's Chinatown.
Okay, it's really hard to film with two bags on one arm, a tripod, and this bubble tea. But I'm in Yamashita Park, which is beautiful, and by the water. So we're gonna go by the water because I love the water. I'm currently in front of the red brick warehouses and it's getting dark and I'm really exhausted because I haven't stopped walking all day and uh, I just wanted to conclude this video and say that this morning before I came here I knew next to nothing about Yokohama next to nothing about Japan's second largest city and leaving today I'll say that this might be my favorite place that I have visited in Japan. I didn't expect that. I really recommend that you come here if you visit Tokyo. You can just come here on a day trip. I would like to do like an overnight here. I wish I had a bit more time, but I'm very happy with what I did today. So I hope that you enjoy this video and that you feel inspired to come here and visit.